Hello, and welcome to a video on how to add a resource pack to your ScalaCube server. Adding a resource pack to your server is a great way to bring about the visual aspects of your Minecraft server. This process is fairly simple and will not involve having to modify any code, making it a great method to make your gameplay even more enjoyable. Multiple websites provide resource packs made by other users, but for this video, we are going to download ours from CurseForge. Make your way to the CurseForge website and find the resource pack section. A thing to note is to make sure the resource pack you are selecting is compatible with your Minecraft server version. Once you've selected your resource pack, click on download and save it to a location easily accessible. The next step is to head to Dropbox. Once you have made your way to Dropbox, click on Upload Files and select your resource pack zip file. After the file is uploaded, Click on Share and make sure it's set to Can View, and click on Create Link. And after it has completed, click on Copy Link. The next step is to go to scalacube.com and log into your account. Once you have logged into the control panel, go to Servers and click on Manage Server. Click on Manage again. Next, click on the button labeled Turn Off to shut down the server. After the server is fully shut down, Find Settings on the left side and enter it. Find Server.Properties and click on Change. Scroll down until you find the setting that says Resource-Pack equals and paste the link copied from Dropbox. Here, we have to make a couple of changes to the format of this file. Start by replacing www.dropbox.com with dl.dropboxusercontent.com. Next, replace dl equals 0 in the end with dl equals 1. After these changes have been done, click on Save. Go back and start your server back up again. When we enter our Minecraft server, we can now see that every player entering it will be prompted with a message that this server recommends using a resource pack set by the server. Click on Yes, and the server will automatically download the resource pack onto your client. If the resource pack is not prompted on login, go back and make sure that the changes made to the link are correct and that the Dropbox setting has been changed to Can View. Just in case this video is not fully explained, I have also put a link in the description to the ScalaCube website to the same guide explaining the same method step by step with images. That is all for me today. Have a nice day. Goodbye.